Welcome back to my video, everyone. Uh, today, what I want to show you how to do is a strawberry cake from scratch. Really easy to make. And this will be very much moist cake. And this is definitely made with strawberry puree, so it's as fresh as it gets. So getting right into that, here we do have two and a half cups of sifted and leveled cake flour. Over here I have one third cup of sour cream, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, um, I added a hint of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, half of a cup of temperature, room temperature milk, all of your ingredients should be a room temperature by now anyway, and four medium eggs, uh, room temperature as well. Here you have half of a package, so eight ounce package of reduced strawberry puree. And here is my salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And here I also have the red food coloring. You can also go with pink. That's to add a nice color to this cake. Otherwise, it'll look sort of like a light purplish lilac type of color between gray and lilac. You don't want that. And last but not least, I have the half a cup of vegetable oil. So let's begin. What I want to start off with is my dry ingredients. So I'm going to just get that incorporated over here. Now if you're not sure how to make homemade cake flour right at home, please visit my other video. And that will show you exactly what to do. So what I want to do here is just get that all mixed in and incorporated. And again, this is sifted already. Sifted flour. We do that to get the clumps out, which is very important. Okay, so here we do have one cup and three-fourths of white granulated sugar. Forgot to add that to my list. And then we're going to go with four room temperature eggs. set this to a four mix stand mixer. So that is good enough. Now instrument mixture, we can go ahead and add in the sour cream and with our vanilla extract. And this will add a lot to our cake, so it'll make it nice and moist. You can either add a third of a cup of sour cream or plain yogurt. That works awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and beat that for a little.
After beating our sour cream, we are ready to go ahead and add in half of our milk. And we're going to incorporate this flour in thirds. And we can go ahead and add our oil. And at the very end, I will add in that strawberry puree for now, I'll go ahead and add in these two drops. And you see this strawberry puree red now, but it loses its color when it's baked. So that is why we're adding that additional coloring. I'm gonna start off a little slower so it doesn't splash everywhere. And be sure to scrape down the sides to get that all incorporated. Going in with more flour. Look at that. It smells really good already. Be sure that you look into using cake flour if you're not already because it does make your cakes a lot lighter and tender. You'll notice a big difference. So we'll stop there. You don't want to over mix either. I'm just going to give that last final scrape. I am going to bake this for 350 degrees for 24 25 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean from the pan. Okay, here I've gone ahead and already sprayed down my nine inch pan with Baker's Joy and I set parchment paper on the bottom so it doesn't stick. So you wanna make sure to fill it halfway and try to get it as even as possible. good we're ready to set this to bake for 350 degrees for 24 minutes at least until the toothpick comes out brown Lord. 26 minutes later our cakes are finished um, if you do want a higher cake, you can always go with a smaller size, but again, I went with two nine inch rounds. Uh, of course, I'm going to add a lot of filling in between to make it a taller cake. So I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for other recipes 
and videos, desserts, and yummies. You don't want to miss that. So turn on the notification bell to stay alert. Thanks for watching.